What is up, everybody? Bearded Man coming to you again with another video. This is going to be a review for Orc Survival Evolved Scorched Earth, the first DLC, first paid DLC for Orc, I should say. Um, anyway, going to be doing a review about this. Now, I gotta say, I really enjoyed it right off the bat. So, there's that. But, um, basically, my experience of it is. I kind of was expecting it to be just like Ark, but with new creatures. I was a little bit uh, taken back because the scenery looked really nice. I really liked the desert look, um, and it was a lot more dangerous, like crazy more dangerous than regular Ark. Like I started going in it, and I noticed how quickly my water was going down immediately. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa! My water's already down to half. What is going on? I just barely started. I happened to have been started in a heat wave, and I ended up dying because of the heat wave because I couldn't find any water. I was like, holy sh wow, okay. Then you go on and you find these much more cool looking environment things like the, uh, the sandstorms where you can barely see anything in front of you. It's crazy. Um, then there's the uh, thunderstorms, well, lightning storms, whatever they are, uh, that affect electronics and stuff. But the heat waves by far were the things that really messed with me because they make you um, hallucinate more. I think that's what it's called anyway, hallucinate. And you guys start like seeing all this weird sh like it's crazy. Um, I really enjoyed it from just an environmental standpoint. Then you get to the creatures. The creatures I really liked how they uh, worked. Uh, I was a little bit sad at how weak. Uh, wyverns were in comparison to what they, sh what I believe they should be strength-wise, because they seem like the dominant creature in Scorched Earth. They and they're especially difficult to deal with. If you're on a harder difficulty and you come in with a bird, they kill you almost instantly. So I was a little bit disappointed when I got one that it was so weakened from its much more badass state. But um, with that being said. I really enjoyed Wyverns still, the dragons basically, because they were just an awesome mount to have. Like, you can ride them around, you're riding on the back of a dragon. It's fun as anything. And I mean, a, like, you raise it from a baby. Which was kind of a cool little aspect. Difficult though, because of how difficult it was to get one of those eggs. <laughs> but, um, pretty fun to do. I really liked it. Uh, you see a few more unique creatures. The Joboa tells you when a weather an anomaly is going to happen. It's really nice to have. It will start freaking out when the weather is about to change. Um, another thing that I rather liked a lot of the creatures was the uh, Morelatops or Camelosaurus or whatever. I don't know why it had two different names. Um, the saddle said one thing and the actual creature itself said a different thing. It was weird. That's a weird little nitpick. But, um, it was interesting just because the Morella Tops or a camel uh, stored water for you, a decent amount of water too. So if you're traveling across a long distance, having one of those around is a pretty good idea. It will keep you very well hydrated and you can stop at certain water holes to just get more water for it. Really nice. Um, those are two essential creatures that you should have. Tents were pretty cool. I liked how they gave you more uh, resistance to things. Really nice to see. Um, a few other things I liked. Flamethrower, chainsaw. Ooh, that thing's fun. Gives you so much wood. Just so much wood. If you chop things up, just tons of wood. Um, Flamethrower is lovely because it just damages things constantly. It's nice. Um, I liked how the desert clothes looked in some regards. Sometimes it was like, eh, didn't really help too much. Kind of more like an, uh, an apparel type thing, just cosmetic kind of. But yeah, overall, I'd have to give it like a four out of five. Four out of five. Yeah, that sounds about right. Only main issue I have with it was a few different little things like the wyverns being weaker than what they seem that they should be um plus it being 20 bucks it's an okay price but the full game isn't out yet so i'm a little bit apprehensive about that you know like 
paid DLC for a game that's not even out yet. That's a little bit, yeah. Because I've seen that with a, full, a few other developers on Steam and stuff like that when they have something you pay extra for and then they don't give any of that. So it's a little bit sketchy. But so far, everything's cool. I like the DLC, like the new map. It looks stunning in a lot of respects. Like, love how it looks. Um, again, 4 out of 5. If it wasn't paid DLC, give it a 5 out of 5. But it's paid, so 4 out of 5. Well, give it like a 4.9 if it wasn't paid because I still have that little nitpick for the, the wyverns, but it's besides the point. Um, oh yeah, I also love the thorny dragons. Thorny dragons are awesome. Why is because I have a few of those where I live, but they're little tiny baby looking things. Nowhere near as big as those. Um, and they look awesome. Love the little things. But, yeah. Anyway, peace out everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is my opinion. Everyone else is entitled to their own opinion. I'm just giving a review on how I felt about that DLC. Overall, I enjoyed it a lot. And will be playing it a lot. <laughs> anyway, is it worth the 20 bucks? Sure, if you like Ark and all that stuff, it's worth the 20 bucks. Um, it has a much more gripping experience, like you're really trying to survive against these creatures. You know, and the elements too. But anyway, peace out everybody. Deuces. Have an amazing day!